started spring cleaning the ST today. And I'll wash it and give it a coat of wax. I'll show you what I use. So we'll wax it with the McGuire's pad. It is a cutting pad, but it'll get rid of the small swirls if you have from washing it. It's really hard to see on the camera probably, but in the sunlight it's easy to see. And we'll use a mother's wax. Been using this for a while. It's really good stuff. And after we wipe it off, we'll use the ceramic detailer with the RS in the picture. It's really good when you wash it, it beads off for tire shine. I tried a lot of things, but this one's the best. Has a great shine. For the exhaust tips, I like to use this mother's aluminum polish. Every hand wash I do, I use the mother's or the McGuire's, whatever you like. I don't use the, um, what is it called? Chemical guy, something. Purple power I use for the grill, the ST grill. It's very hard to keep clean. You can see very dirty. I just spray this on and we'll rinse that. Works great. And we'll just rinse it off. Even in a cooler you can spray and the exhaust it does magic. use a bucket you can use two method bucket I use one method make it nice and soapy I use the McGuire's mitten I don't wash my wheels with that because there is dirt in there and you know little rocks Let's rinse that grill. I'll let it sit for about a minute there when I spray it. Then you just rinse it off, hose it off, power wash, whatever you like. But I like to have it a nice wax it's nice weather to be on. I start on the roof because the roof is the cleanest. And then down, doors, hood, and then we'll rinse it. Okay, nice and soapy, we'll rinse it off. In the summer, I don't wash it in the sun, but since it's 60 degree weather, it dries it quicker, so. Rinse it off.
dry it off with a leaf blower, most of the water, then it's easier to dry. These microfiber towels, it's the softest. And then we'll dry it and start giving it a light coat of wax. I'll actually do that in the shade. I'll pull up over here. Let's get our dry. Get yourself a drink. And let's get to work. Machine I use, Porter cable. Got six speeds. I usually use four or five. Had it for a long time. It's been reliable. I wax my car a couple of times a year. And then we'll spray some of this on the pad so it's softer. Make sure you shake this well before applying. You don't have to put too much. Just a small coat. I'll use this on the whole hood. Now it's in the shade. Start on the hood. Just put it down. Work the wax through. And then just go up and down and left to right. Gently. And then stop. Okay, so on the hood. see it on the camera but I finished from up to down go gently light then you gotta grab a very clean microfiber towel I'm just gonna wipe the wax off see how it's coming off very easy the light coat and you're ready for the summer. Gives you protection against the sun, clear coat and shine. Swipe the hood down, then we'll go to the bumper. Fender doors. Roof. Little by little. Shouldn't take more than half an hour. There's a big difference in smoothness. It's rougher. Very smooth. Okay, let's continue. Get the side done. And there. Bumper as well. Try not to get on the rubber. Turns white and it's kind of hard to get out. And I have to use like alcohol wipes. And I'm gonna wipe it down. I'll show you real quick how the machine rotates. It's loud and fast, so bear with me. down and I'll record the after whole car is waxed let it sit for about 10 minutes cures in and then we'll wipe it off see the wax
wipe that off and don't wash the car for at least three days or so so it can cure all right let's get to work wipe it down and we'll take an after shot for the wheels i also use this mcguire's ceramic detailer after i wash it put some protection on it spray some around and wipe it down put some tire shine on Sweat look finish. There you go. Do the other three, and we'll come back. So, after I wipe the wax down, I like to use the ceramic detailer just to make sure I get all that wax off. So, I'll just spray it. I just spray a couple of these pumps and then just use that microfiber towel and wipe that down. I'll do that to the whole car. Make sure you get all the little cracks. See how wax gets stuck in there. Just go like that. Or even easier. Open whichever door. There it is. Uh, wipe it down and around the taillights. Pop the trunk. Get every little corner because wax gets stuck there. Door jams too. So we're usually salt sets and on your doors too. So it starts rusting. Here too. So make sure you wipe that all down. Trunk as well. Your water gets in here. Salt. Just starts rusting over the years. You can also wipe the engine bay down. Some of that dust there. I don't like to wash the engine. Did it before in a different car and alternator went bad. So be careful. She power washed that engine. A lot of electronics there, you know. So like not start, return on later. Just a little wipe is good enough. A little wipe off the dust. Good. You can put some tire dressing on too if you want, like it shiny. But that's that that what attracts the dust. So. I don't know. It's your choice. For the exhaust tips, put some on the rack. It's gonna get in there, around. It usually turns black because of the fumes and all that. So. Hard to keep clean, but every wash I clean them out. So just apply that. Gently, then just let it sit for five minutes and wipe it down. I'll use the other side. 
that's the finished result. That's the shiny. Just keep up with it and it will always stay clean. All right, that's a wrap. Here's how it looks. Nice and shiny. Wheels done. Paint looks like new. Six years old. But if you keep up with it, it'll look really good. Tips shiny. Nice reflection. Very glossy. Especially if you have a dark colored car. It's a huge difference. Looks pretty good. If you have a brush, you can also go in there and brush it. All right, time to clean yours. Enjoy summer. Till next time.